All right, guys, how you all doing? I'm Fiesta here, and today we have some interesting news. Starting from Sasa Mankovic, probably the AMD ex executive, basically, says, tweeting this that stay safe this holiday season at AMD Radeon. Basically, the picture tells you that it's a two pin connector and it doesn't have any problem what Nvidia is having that 12 pin, you know, issue that we all know that it's literally melting. And so they're just making a joke about it, which is kind of funny, but again, <coughs> It's kind of true though so <laughs> not gonna lie it's kind of funny and also true so yeah but we also have a follow-up news to the 12 pin vhwpr connector getting melted you know melted and we might know the answer now why it's melting properly so we would know that next up we have more threads that's the mtt s80 that's the the new GPU maker that they're bringing in this GPU basically, the S80, MTT S80, and it got tested basically, and the performance seems like it's like a GTX 1060, and the worst part is that in idle, it has 110 watts uh, consumption, which is, yeah, it does tell you that they need to work a lot. And if you look into the performance here, uh, this is a 3D Mark DirectX performance, and if you look into it, well, in, in 1080p, I, be I believe this is 1080p, default 1080p, it really goes down like, you know, 24,331 compared to 3060, which is 59,6748. So, yeah, it tanks a lot, literally. And in 4K, uh, the condition is worse. Yeah. And this is the Uni Engine Valley FPS, and if you look into it, they got an FPS of 55, and the minimum was 21, and the maximum was 78. And yeah, it was running at i7 12700K and of course the more threads GPU. And this is the more broader test here. And it does tell you everything that the MTT S80 struggles a lot. Because 3060 is 260% ahead. Well, that's a lot. In 1080p DX9, in 4K DX9, well, I don't have to say because it, it just dies. Yeah. In 1080p DX11, it also gets, you know... 100% lead here, but still, uh, it's not worth it. Yeah, right? And of course, 4K DX11, it struggles. But not as much as this score here in 4K DX9, which is obliterating. Yeah. And as I said, the power consumption, the peak here is 240.385, as you can see. But the idle, well, yeah, it does tell you something that it's not efficient because even in idle it's getting 115 to 114 which is uh i don't think that's a good uh power consumption in idle let alone uh you know in, in full load so yeah it's just not looking good for mtt basically and that's the basically the pcb design for the most more threads mtt s80 basically and it looks very simple seems like it so yeah they didn't really get the success, but I guess GPU making really takes time. That's for sure. And next up we have uh, Gold 3NM4. Okay, let me just not spell all of it. Chill Dog. Chill E Dog. Yeah, there we go. He just shared this information that the 7900 non X 5.4 gigs max or gigahertz max will be coming in uh, Q1 of 2023. And of course, coming at 429, so a bit cut down in pricing because obviously it's a non-X model. 7700 coming at 5.3 gigahertz, that's the max. Again, Q1 release 329 will be the pricing basically, so a little bit premium than uh, the 7600X and the 7600, which is th the most appealing one here because the pricing is very appealing. 229 basically, and of course 5.1 max uh, gigahertz, so that's good over 5 gigahertz all of them which is nice and of course coming at q1 2023 so this is gonna be interesting and also not to mention is all of them are 65 watts so yeah very basically the non-x series coming in q1 of 2023 and the pricing looks very appealing so i mean it makes sense so yeah we'll see about that and next up we have bench leaks providing this leak of an rtx 4050 laptop gpu in puget bench and if you look into it right here, the, this is a, probably a laptop, obviously, and it's coming with 13th generation Intel Core i7 13700H with the RTX 4050 laptop. And it will also support Intel Irish XE graphics, but then again, you don't really need that when you have 
RTX 450, you know. And the overall score here in Puget Bench, or Puget, I don't know how you spell that, but yeah, it's Puget, I believe. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be standard overall score of 10, 1, 1,052. So, we don't have any comparison, but there it is. There is a some sort of, like, confirmation, I guess, that RTX 450 laptop GPU is gonna be coming soon, but don't know when. So, yeah. Next up, we have Haruke's giving this information here, and this is coming from Lenovo China Gaming Desktop Product Planning Manager, and this is the statement that he gave. We don't know the obviously, this is Chinese, so let's move into the translation here. And if you look into it, he uh, quoted this, that many friends said to wait for 4060, although I also do not know what 4060 I came to a guess. So the guess here is that the performance then 3060 20% stronger uh, and uh, same as the 3070 basically and the power consumption is going to be 150 to 180 watts which is quite efficient i have to say and price will be uh, increased by 10% of the 3060 which makes sense which will basically will turn out to be a 3060 ti like pricing and of course the dlss3 and the nvme will have a boost of course because the new generation and yeah, basically, it's going to be very much interesting to see how well this card was going to perform because we're looking at a 3070-like performance. So, I mean, it's just a one tier above. Hopefully, the pricing would not be crazy. That is what I'm hoping for. Because if it is, that's not going to be good. And also, one more thing. Uh, it's going to be coming in June 2023. So, quite a while to we have to wait. Yeah, June 2023. That's I believe that's quite late. I don't know, it's just, it doesn't feel like it's a good release time. If you want to buy a 4060, like, you have to really wait a long time. Like, 40, literally, like, 7 months. So, yeah, that's, I don't know. We'll see. And lastly, we have, again, the story that I wanted to discuss. And it's coming from, uh, basically, Gamers Nexus. And I'm looking, looking at the video card's report here. And he, basically, Gamers Nexus, literally claiming that, if you don't plug the 12 VHW PWR connector properly, it will burn. So basically what he's saying that if you connect it properly, it shouldn't burn. But if you don't, if you like loosen it a little bit, it's gonna burn. And why? Well, basically, if you look into it, these are the picture that Gamers Nexus got. And basically, if, if you look into it, if you don't plug it properly, there are debris that going inside and Probably that's why that is increasing the resistance of the element here and basically burning it, literally. That's what I'm understanding from these pictures here. For more better understanding, I will link this uh, finding from Gamers Nexus so you can literally watch it and then, you know, get it informed. And of course, be aware, basically, if you have a 4090 or 4080 and of course this connector, adapter here, basically, which will might burn your car too so if you don't want to burn your card gamers nexus is telling that you should plug your adapter properly because if you don't the foreign debris and other things you know will increase the resistance basically and then of course yeah that card will melt because resistance higher resistance means higher the temperature so basically it will burn i believe all right that is it for today what do you think about the like the adapter here the rtx uh, 4090 adapter or 2L pin adapter here. Do you think it's an engineering flaw? To me, I think it is an engineering flaw because why would you, like, you know, why would this kind of connector struggle to even, you know, provide enough performance here? I mean, it's not enough performance, it's just literally burning, but like, it's, it's, a, it's kind of an engineering problem here, engineering failure, because uh, we haven't seen this kind of thing in a very long time, so it's happening and well i think this is an engineering problem coming from whoever behind making the adapter here so that's unfortunate really but gamers next is telling that if you like you know plug it properly then it shouldn't be a problem some people might say that this is a user error but i personally don't think it's a user error because a lot of people a lot of people those who don't have any idea what's going on they they would think oh this is completely plugged in properly so it shouldn't be a problem but it's it is a problem so basically you need to you know push it in quite in so that it doesn't really you know the foreign debris that the gamers nexus mentioned doesn't go inside and literally you know 
do damage. So and I think this is not a user in problem, more like an engineering problem or engineering failure, you could say. All right, that is it for today. Have a good day. And of course, like, share and subscribe. See ya.